Yo, what's up my fellow creatives? If you are a new graphic designer, web designer, or motion designer, today's video is about making your first thousand dollars a month. Now this might seem really small for some of you, so if this is not, you're already at that level, you may wanna turn off to this video and go check out some of my other ones where I'm showing you how to make six figures. But if you're a new designer, I care about you too, and I wanna show you guys the four step process that I've come up with, with making your first thousand dollars a month. And the first step to that process is coming up with an irresistible offer. If you're going to make offers to people, they need to be irresistible. They need to be so good that people feel stupid for saying no. Let me say that one more time. They need to feel stupid for saying no. An irresistible offer, what does that actually look like? That's coming up with something that is so good, whether it's a logo design offer for 99 bucks or a logo design offer for 199, but you come up with the branding guidelines or maybe you include a website. You need to come up with a package that is so good that other people are like, wow, how can you do it for that cheap? You may not even do the project yourself. This may be something you hire out or you have somebody else do for you, but it still needs to be so good and you need to be able to deliver the end result that you were promising. If you under deliver on this, you will lose the client and this whole process that I'm gonna teach you today will be completely pointless. So make sure that your offer is very strong. An irresistible offer is something like I offer. I build out a full CRM, a full marketing system, all of your automations, I incorporate all your emails, I give you guys access to an entire community, I have all of my trainings, all of my networking groups, I create all this stuff for you guys and I offer it for $20 a month. That is an irresistible offer. That's something that people can't say no to. And to top it off, I offer that for free for 14 days, right? So in order to create an irresistible offer like that, you need to know what is the problem that you're solving. So you're gonna create your offer around that. If it's a website, okay, is it a landing page? Is it a funnel? Is it a full website build? What kind of businesses are you making these offers to? These are all key components and areas you gotta be thinking about when it comes to making your offers. You can't sell somebody a $10,000 a month program that hasn't even hit $1,000 a month. This is something I had to realize through all of my videos and trainings, communities and stuff that I've done is that I've been selling the six figure business model to people who really can't afford to even pay half of that. So now I'm creating videos like this to help people get to their first thousand dollars a month and then hopefully to their first $10,000 a month with some of our other programs that are coming down the road. The second piece to this is prospecting. If you're gonna do prospecting, one of the baits that you're gonna use besides introducing yourself and actually building an intentional and real relationship and making sure that you know it's a numbers game is having good bait. That bait is your offer. That bait is also your portfolio. So you need to have some work. So maybe your first initial people that you talk to say, hey, I'm willing to build you a landing page at no cost, but here's my offer. You gotta make me a testimonial video. This testimonial video is I'm going to use to go get more clients. And what I'm also gonna ask you for is that you refer me to three of your friends. Even though I'm doing this work for you for free, I need three of your friends that you can refer me to so that once I built my portfolio up, I can start bringing in revenue. Now, what's that price gonna be initially? You may do free on your first three, five, 10 deals, maybe even 20 deals to build up your portfolio. But once you have that portfolio, you're gonna document the process that you went through to build that website, to create that brand, to design that flyer, or whatever it is, the process that you're creating, the creative project you're doing, you need to be able to take them through that process step by step and show them everything that you did from initial sketch to completed project and then getting that social proof at the end. So prospecting, like I said, is a numbers game. It may take 10 people to get one deal. It may take 20 people to get one deal. Back when I first started my business when I was doing graphic design and printing, it took like 50 phone calls to get two deals a day. If you're having to do 50 phone calls or 50 Facebook messages or 50 LinkedIn messages to get two deals, you need to know that, okay, if I need to make $500 a day or if I need to make, let's just say $1,000 a month, right? You only need to make $100, $200 a day. So if you get 10 projects at $100 a piece, there you go, you've made your first $1,000 a month. Now, if you only wanna do four projects, that means you need to get one deal a week at 250 bucks. It's kind of a no brainer. That should be super easy to get one deal a week. So how many people do you need to talk to in order to get one deal a week? Now, let's just say you bump your price to 500 bucks. Now you need to get two deals a month to make that thousand bucks. And my goal for you is to obviously make more than a thousand dollars a month, but you need to reverse engineer and really understand this process on a deeper level. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, how do I close this deal? The first thing that you're gonna use is a methodology called spin selling. You need to understand the person's situation. You need to be able to identify their problem. You need to explain to them what the implication of that problem is and then provide them a solution, which is help them with their need. What is the need? Is it a logo design? Is it a website? Is it a funnel? Is it a flyer? 
whatever that project is, you need to be giving them that solution to that and make it an irresistible offer. So the close is going to be more about you listening and then just basically chiming in on, okay, here's the solution that I see that you can need and where I can help you fix this. And then once you're able to do that, that's what's going to make it easy. You're going to be able to get them to come to you versus you coming to them and say, okay, what's the next step? I want to get started on this. You should be setting yourself up to where they close themselves. They're asking you, what is the next steps? That's a secret buzzword you need to be listening for when you're making these deals, when you're making these offers and you're going for the close. If you're doing something low ticket, anything between $100 all the way up to about $1,000, you should be able to get your client on one call closes. What does a one call close mean? That means you have one conversation and you bring it to a sale. Anything over that thousand, fifteen hundred dollar a month mark or fifteen hundred dollars period, you're probably going to need to have multiple conversations in order for them to make that commitment. Especially if you're doing anything recurring like I do, where it's like a thousand, fifteen hundred, twenty five hundred, five thousand or even ten thousand dollars a month. It takes multiple sales and that's a longer sales cycle. My goal is to shorten that sales cycle to get you in that under thousand dollar price point per project. Now, you may be able to get one project a month for a thousand bucks and there you go, you've solved your problem. If you have the ability to do that, you should really set your goals higher than a thousand dollars for the month. You should be setting it at probably four thousand dollars, five thousand dollars because again, your prospecting needs to be happening on a daily basis whether you have a project or not. The last piece I want you to do is I want you to sit down with your client when your project is done and say, hey, how did you enjoy the process of working together? How do you feel about our relationship so far? What's working for you? What's not working for you? You can get that feedback from them. Hopefully it's on Zoom or some sort of area where you can document that feedback that you're getting so you can adjust and fine tune your process to make it better over time. You're not gonna be perfect out of the gate, especially when you're first trying to make your first thousand bucks. You're not gonna be perfect. So you need to be able to ask for that feedback and be able to implement that feedback because information without the application isn't gonna give you business transformation. So the last thing you're gonna do is say, okay, great. Now, obviously I've built my business around referrals who are three people that you think I, that could use my services? I'm looking for three people that you could refer me to that I can use to actually go help them as well. Are there three people that you would recommend me to use? So that is the last piece of this is you're gonna start with making sure you have a good offer. You're gonna do consistent prospecting and map out your prospecting and make sure you have social proof as well as asking them for feedback when you go to make the close and you wanna pull the rope rather than push the rope, which is doing that spin methodology that I told you about, situation, problem, implication, and their need. If you need more on that, there's a book called Spin Selling where you can get a lot more context and I'll drop the link down in the description. And the last piece is asking for that feedback and the referrals so you can actually continue to scale one client to three, to nine, to 12, to 15, and outwardly. So that's gonna help you scale very quickly. And you're gonna go from a situation where you're trying to figure out how to make your first thousand dollars a month to making $10,000 in a month very fast. I've had past students do this. If this is an area you wanna go deeper with me on, I'm gonna make more videos where I'm gonna go even more in depth on this subject. All you gotta do is click the link below in the description. You can meet with me one-on-one -on -one, or you can check out the Instagraphics Pro Network. Make sure you fill out all the questions to join the group or I can't let you in. We wanna make sure we have quality people in this group that are serious about leveling up their life, leveling up their health, leveling up their relationships and making more money. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.